Ready to go into Lowe's? Let's do it. What'd you find? I found this color for the outside of our tub. And then as I was um, scanning, I found this greenish color that we wanted to do for our cabinets. We're gonna take that. Gotta love the oops paint that they mess up on and then we save money. Of course, we had to take a break in the plant aisle. I got stuff that needs to grow, so I need new soil. Look at this, it's a bug eater. Never got to focus. Looks like a bootay. That's, I don't like that. so bad. Hot seat. Very hot. You wanna try one? No thanks. Why? Huh. Okay, so we got all the stuff to paint the tub. Now we actually just gotta go buy the tub Actual itself. tub. Yeah, And exactly. make sure that it's big enough to fit him and me. And then we got purple basil. We couldn't even make it 10 feet out of the car before we get stuck by the flowers. I'll go home and grow my own cilantro. Yeah, success. Hi! She's like big to do laps. <laughs> to do laps in it? About the size of our whole living room. Yeah. You know, you know what's weird about a bathtub? Is when you get a bigger bathtub, you have more bathroom, but you have less bathroom. All right, well, we're done. He's fired. Yep, no chance, not going in that thing. <laughs> yeah, this one's uh, not quite the aesthetic that we're going for. I could make it work, but to be fully submerged, I'd have to close my nose and push myself down, so not too relaxing. Look, 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 watch when you Let me at her. <laughs> That's like me when I see mac and cheese. <laughs> I think we found the uh, the one we want. I would uh, sit in one to test out leg room and stuff like that, but uh, it's about 90 degrees outside and I'm not gonna burn my butt. Forgot to put SPF on the bottom half today, so we're not, we're not doing that. So in this video, we are taking this, a horse trough, and turning it into this, a bathtub. So in the bus, we wanted to have a bathtub option, but we didn't really want it to be permanent because we didn't know how practical it would really be. And we liked the idea of being able to take it outside and using it outdoors as well. We think that'd be pretty cool. I've heard of people who have used these troughs for bathtubs, so we're gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. Time to unload. Green paint for the cabinets. That's a completely different project. Primer for the inside of the tub. Once it's primed, we're gonna put a layer of Flex Seal on it. We might need to buy more, but see how this works. Copper paint for the outside of the tub. Suction stopper for the bottom of the tub. I think of white paint because it was nine dollars so why not? And of course the potting soil. Yeah. All right let's get to work. So the first step is to cut out the hole so we measured out the center and then drilled that out. And then we sanded up the edge a little bit just so we didn't have a sharp edge. The thing is here is we need the water to actually drain, so we needed to create a small bevel in the metal. I think the best way to do that would be able to get something heavy and like round and then just see if we can like pound it out. We found a rock, I think that'll work. And then we'll just use this rag covered over so we have a better grip. rough up these edges to help the primer stick to it. All right, that looks pretty good now. The next step is to remove this. And we're gonna give the outside of this a light sand as well. And then we just washed it with some soapy water just to get rid of any of the grease. It's day two. It's time to prime the inside of the tub. This is just a uh, basic all surface primer fixed to all surfaces. We're just gonna paint the whole inside. Okay. So we literally just poured the paint right into the bin so we had a nice thick layer of primer and then we used our high quality brushes from the dollar store. Now, we're trying to decide if we want to prime the outside with the white as well or if our copper paint would actually just stick better to the metal. Give it a test. The copper on the side of our tub is now dry, so now I'm gonna go see if I can scratch it off. It's not mac and cheese, man. For those of you that don't know, mac and cheese is my jam. That'll work. Looks like it holds up pretty well. Wow! Yeah. 
Reminds me of kindergarten. What? Why? It smells like Elmer's glue and the purple disappearing glue sticks and googly eyes. But anywho, let's get to work. We want to keep this upper rim the copper color, so we're just gonna mask out the bottom here. I feel like all of the blood is rushing to my head, I'm trying to tape this upside down. My eyeball's about to pop out. You know, it'd probably actually be easier if we got in the tub and taped this. So, there's no water though. We're just gonna give it a quick vacuum, make sure there's no dust before we put on the uh, flex seal. So on to the most important part, uh, flex seal. You can buy it in a can, a uh, paint on, or you can get the spray. We went with the spray because we're hoping that it's gonna be smooth and an even finish and we're not gonna have brush strokes. Some tips and tricks here for you. Keep your spray paint hot, it'll go on a lot smoother. And we're just gonna use uh, a little shield. Definitely should have got a few more cans of this. We had to go out and we had to get a second can because there's not as much paint in here as you think that there would be and we probably even could have gotten three cans. I'm uh, not really sure why we're removing the old tape just to add more tape, but I was told to do so, so. Seriously though, why are we doing that? We're gonna use this oval piece to cover up the top so we don't get any copper overspray into the tub. How's it look? Good. I think we're uh, I think we're ready for some paint. It's all taped up. I'm gonna take my new little shoesies off. It's got this nice uh, glittery pink color that I'm literally living for right now. Yikes. We're gonna move it up so we can paint the bottom oh, easier. I didn't know who you were talking to. And don't stick your finger in front of the cat. It's blood. It's not blood. It's blood. I'm gonna die. First of all, don't call me to ever do spray paint jobs because I'm not the person. It looks like a penny and I love it. And uh, its name is Lincoln. So now we let it dry and then we take a bath. In it. So stay tuned because I'm jumping in. <laughs> Our tub is now complete. We let it cure overnight. Actually, it was like two days, but I think it's ready to go. It's time for the big reveal. Here we go. Follow me. How many ants are used to fill an apartment? Ten ants. Ten ants. Oh, God. Ten, ten ants. That's kind of... Yeah.